Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Today I'm going to be reading The Golden Rule, written by my friend Cheryl Cannon, and illustrated by the Calpart team. We need to start looking for something that's great, said Robert while talking to his sister Kate. For there is a ruler Mom says is quite old. It must be important. It's made out of gold. I think we should look for that wonderful rule. If not here at home, perhaps it's at school. Made out of gold, well, it must be quite nice. And if we could find it, we'd get a good price. Mom says we all need it. The using is rare. I wish we could find it. That ruler is somewhere. But how do you find it? For how can you see if you're not really sure about what it could be? So Robert and Kate went to search at their school to look high and low for that wonderful rule. They thought that its shining would help in their find if it really was gold and not some other kind. They looked for the ruler. They searched everywhere, looked over desktops and under the chairs. They did find a ruler, but not made of gold. They found one of plastic that looked awfully old. Then they saw a book with a king on the cover. Perhaps that's the ruler, they said to each other. It's maybe a queen or a princess or two, but made out of gold would be quite hard to do. So Kate then asked Rob if he thought it could be a new kind of ruler they might not see. Rob thought a minute and smiled and said, It's not a ruler, it's a rule instead. That's why we can't find it. It's just not at school. It's not a school ruler or measuring tool. It's a rule that you live by, to give and to share, a way to treat others, to show that you care. The rule is to treat others the way you would like, for them to treat you and treat all just alike. The rule is not something that money can buy. It's more of a way to help you feel good inside. And thinking of others is also a part of that rule which makes thinking with head and with heart. At home and at play, and at work and at school, this is a way to live, the golden rule. If you say you're hungry, I give you my snack. Then you share with me, and then I give it back. I think what you need, and you do the same. And both of us share in this wonderful game. If I give you my toy to play for a while... You would feel good, and you'd give me a smile. Then you'd share your toy, or maybe a book, and then I might lend you my Kindle or Nook. If someone should push you, or give you a smack, you don't try to hit, and you don't push him back. You tell him what he's doing is not nice, and then you tell your teacher if he tries it twice. You must think of others and not make them cry. You really don't know how they're feeling inside. So think how they might feel. Then let them know that you'll try to listen by telling them so. Sometimes pay it forward is what you should do. That's giving, requesting your friend do it too. Not for a payback, but to help a friend and loving the feeling you get at the end. You need a penny? I give you a few. And ask that when someone asks, you share it too. I won't have my penny, but I will feel good from giving to others the way that I should. Try to help others who have less than you. And I think that you'll find you're happier too. Help stop the bullies by forming a team to protect smaller kids from the ones who are mean. No matter the color of anyone's skin, it's just the outside. It's not what's within. For we must be thankful for that we have, and try to be kind to the ones who are sad.
The golden rule says to treat others the way you'd like to be treated at home and at play. To try to be honest in all that you do. Think how you would feel if it were you. When doing your homework, your work is your own. Don't borrow from others, online or at home. Think how you'd feel if you tried to share, and then someone claimed that your work was theirs. If we treat our neighbors the way we would like, we'd all be much happier and more alike. Just think of the good things of all that we love, the beauty of the earth and the sky up above. Remember the golden rule. Try it every day to try to treat others that wonderful way. Treat them the way you'd like them to treat you. Your friends will be happy. So will you. The end. What a wonderful book about the golden rule. I hope you keep this in mind as you go through your days. Think of other people and treat them the way you would like them to treat you. A great big thank you to Cheryl Cannon and the Cowpart team for that great book. You can read more about Cheryl Cannon and her books by looking in the description below. Wasn't that great? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the thumbs up button below. Moms, dads, and adults, please leave your and your children's comments below. This way we know what shows you like, so we can make more of them. There's one more thing that we always do at the end of every show. Magic glasses! Magic glasses lets me see some of my friends who came to play. Maybe I'll see you today. Magic glasses, that's the way. Show me my friends who came to play. Okay, now everyone smile and wave and let me see if I see you. Well, I see Chloe. And there's Cristiano. Well, hi, Kylie. Well, there's Ted and Nikki and Steven. Well, hi, Danny and Mary and Lucas and Tora and Denise, Walter, Erica, Brian. Well, I see a lot of my friends looking back at me. Did I see you today? If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Make sure you check back soon, because we'll be adding a bunch of new shows every week. Make sure you have an adult. Click on the subscribe button right here. That way you won't miss any of the fun. Moms and dads, make sure you visit the Storytime Pup website to sign up for our great free giveaways. We have giveaways for books, CDs, DVDs, T-shirts, and other great stuff. Sign up just once, and you'll have a chance for all the drawings to come. And kids, don't forget to tell your friends about Storytime Pup. And before I go, here's a great big hug for all my friends. Thanks for stopping by to play. I'll see you real soon. Bye now. The fun's not over yet, kids. Click below for more fun videos. There's children's books, let's pretend, and games. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here.